If your range of motion sucks, stay tuned. We have a quick and easy trick on how to improve the range of motion in your golf swing. Not all setups are the same. In fact, one variable we often look at is how a player sets up with their feet. Some players have more foot flare, some players set up with their feet more square. Two examples we're gonna look at today is the legend, Mr. Arnold Palmer, and one of the modern day players, Colin Morikawa. If we get those side by side, you can see that Mr. Palmer obviously sets up with way more foot flare. And as we turn them both to the top of the swing, one of the biggest differentiators is Mr. Palmer has much more hip turn. Like I said, both two very successful players. So ultimately, I think it's safe to say that a player who sets up with more foot flare, we're gonna assume that they're gonna have much more rotation through the pelvis. A player that sets up with their feet more squared, they're gonna have much more left to right. Another example that comes to mind is Brooks Kepka. He sets up with his feet more on the neutral side of the spectrum, has just a little bit of flare in there, obviously has a lot more lateral motion in his swing. Now, just because you set up with your feet more neutral doesn't guarantee you're gonna have lateral motion. However, I have seen a strong correlation between people sitting up with their feet more square and having more lateral motion present in their swing. That being said, I think when we look at the latter option of setting up with your feet more neutral, it's gonna require a little bit more from your body. So two things in particular. One, you're gonna need much more range of motion in your hips. And then secondly, you're gonna need much more upper body rotation to your right. So if you're not mobile in your hips and you're not mobile in your upper body, it might be a good idea to actually add a little bit of foot flare and potentially create more rotation from your pelvis in your backswing. So when it comes to assessing your mobility at home, an easy way to look at this is to do a very basic internal rotation test. So I have two clubs on the ground at 90 degrees. I'm gonna step in here with my trail side. So in my case, my right foot, club across my pelvis, and now I'm gonna turn back as far as I can go, okay? So you can see that I pretty much got to parallel. Uh, if I was able to go past parallel, I would say my hip internal rotation is very good. Because I was able to get to parallel, I would say I'm more on the decent side of the spectrum. And then if you turn back and you're shy of matching the shafts up, I would say your hip internal rotation needs some work. So once you've tested your hips, if you test poorly, one of the things we can do is we can set up with a little bit more flare in the feet. By doing so, we're setting up in more of an externally rotated position, and that's gonna give us more range of motion to move into internal rotation in the backswing. As I mentioned, more foot flare is gonna typically lead to more rotation of the pelvis. The square your feet are, you're probably gonna move more laterally. So if you are making this adjustment, be conscious of how this is gonna affect your pattern. Throughout my long drive career, I've lived on both sides of the spectrum. So when I started, I had much more foot flare. I had a very big hip turn. My pivot was really centered. And then as I worked on getting more lateral, okay, so left to right, my feet naturally started to get much more straight. The downside to this is I couldn't create the same level of hip rotation. So the structure of my arms started to suffer and the timing or ability to get back to my lead side was much different. So ultimately I've gone back and I've added a little bit of foot flare somewhere between the 20 and 30 degree range. I think that this is probably a good range for 95% of the golfing population, assuming that most people are going to have poor range of motion in their hips. Don't be afraid to add a little bit more. Obviously you can see uh, Mr. Palmer had an amazing career. He was someone that lived in the bigger foot flare side of the spectrum. Ultimately, based off your goals, are you trying to be a rotational player or a lateral player? And then assessing your own range of motion in your hips, you can decide how much foot flare you need at address. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos on improving your golf swing, head over to hipbombs.com and check out one of our training blueprints. We have a full team there ready to assist you with your golfing needs.